What is up my dude and dudettes and welcome back to Teller2. In today's video we're going to be looking at the subreddit r slash choosing beggars. If you guys are new to my channel be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Mother wants to pay me half of minimum wage for 9 hour days and a full education program. Okay, so for some context, I live in South Africa where minimum wage is R20.76. So this past week, I got told that the child that I currently au pair is getting taken to school. Nothing to do with me, he's struggling with social interactions with kids his age and needs to get back to school after lockdown. So I've been looking for a new job. I get a message from a woman about an hour ago asking my rates, my hours, etc. I give her the lowdown, I get paid 49 an hour because I have a lot of experience and I am studying towards an education degree. I had to bring my rates down when I moved here because it's a smaller town, I was getting up to about 80 an hour previously. I can also work full days within reason. This woman immediately criticizes my rate, saying I can't charge that much here. She then says she has an offer I will not be getting anywhere else and that I should take it. She wants to pay me 2000 for working from 7am to 4pm, working with her 8 year old and 3 year old and I would need to keep up with the education program the teacher send for the 8 year old. But she's generous, she will give me every second Friday off and I will only have to drive to go drop off and pick up her 3 year old every second day. For those who don't feel like doing math, that is just over 11 an hour for 9 hour days and 2 kids. I politely declined, but did tell her that she was paying below minimum wage. She went off saying that because I was studying, she doesn't have to pay me a full salary. That was when I told her to stop sending me messages and I would not be willing to lower my rates. Haven't heard from her since, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, Karen, you're offering me lower than minimum wage. I don't care, you're charging way too much. This is the best offer you're gonna get. Ah. <sighs> Man at Target asked for a few bucks, then demanded I take him up front and pay for his entire cart. Okay, so I'm walking through Target, and I know I got to get some Prego for some spaghetti squash later, so I turn the corner and begin browsing. As I push my cart through the aisle, this man in rather tattered clothing motions for me and hands me a clipboard. On the laminated paper, it explains to me that this man is mostly deaf and that he is struggling for money and anything helps. I stop halfway and let him know that I don't have cash. He motions to the bottom of the paper and it explains that he would be grateful that if you don't have cash, you could buy an item he needs or help him partially at checkout. He starts speaking and telling me what he has and I notice by his voice he's definitely very hard of hearing. His cart mostly has cheese, bread, jam, and some meat. It seems legit and I felt bad. Being the sometimes outstanding person I am, I reach into my wallet. There's a few $1 and a $10. And I did say sometimes, so I just pull out the $3 and hand it to the man. He says thank you and starts unfolding the bills and gets real mad and starts motioning towards his cart. What is this supposed to pay for? This is $3. This won't help me. I'm definitely taken back by this and just say it's all I'm going to give him. This won't even pay for most of my items. Can you give me more? No, obviously. Come on, I need food. Can you at least bring my cart up front and pay for it for me? This money does nothing. Again, no. I tell him I paid for one or two of his items and that's all I'm doing. He flips me off and shoves the money in his pocket and turns around. You could have at least paid for seven or eight of my items. This money is useless. I'm just in disbelief and just want to leave, so I start walking away, faith in humanity lost, and three dollars down in pocket change. He attempts to heckle me more, but I just leave. I let my boyfriend know what happened, and he puts me on the phone until I leave the store. What a weird day. <laughs> How dare you help me out and give me three dollars for my food? That'll barely pay for anything. I don't even want it. Then why are you begging for money, chief? Shake my head. Merry Christmas. No thanks. Okay, so a few years ago, my ex-wife and I went to her grandmother's for Christmas dinner slash gifts. I loved her grandmother. She is a short Irish woman, complete with the accent, and possibly the nicest woman in the world. When my ex and I broke up, she was the only family member I was sad about never seeing again. I hope with all this crap currently going on in the world that she is doing okay. I hadn't been to a Christmas at her place yet because of a combination of being sick, having to work, and my family's gatherings happening on the same day. So this was my first one with my ex's family. The dinner went great, had normal family disagreements about politics and stuff, but was fairly normal. Finally, it was time for the gifts. 
I was always raised that even if someone gives you the stupidest, ugliest gift in the world, especially family, you say thank you and put it in the back of your closet or donate it to charity. Not my ex-wife, apparently. Her grandmother had knitted everyone's sweaters. Yes, they were two sizes too big, and they were colors that wouldn't go with any outfit outside of the 80s, but she had put the effort into making them all for us. I put on my biggest smile when I opened it and said, Oh, thank you so much, even though I knew I probably would never really wear it anywhere. My ex-wife, on the other hand, put hers back in the box and said no thanks and gave it back to her grandmother. My heart skipped a beat. I was able to muster, uh-huh. She said, I don't like the color. It doesn't look good. Do you have anything else? Her grandmother, bless her heart, said, okay, we'll get you something else, dear. And she went into the kitchen coming out with a box of chocolates, which my ex devoured that night. I kept the sweater and gave her grandma a big hug saying thank you before I left. I lost the wife a few years later, but I still have the sweater. Even trade, I'd say. <laughs> What the heck is this nonsense? This is so ugly, I'm never gonna wear this. Do you have anything else? Oh man. Lack of motivation equals choosing beggar. So, I really wish I took screenshots of this because I can't believe there are people that lazy out there. Also, a lot of the conversation was in Snapchat, and I don't want her knowing I was taking screenshots of her things. So, I have a friend that has a girlfriend that my friendship group just put up with because he's happy and others have tried talking about his relationship to him before, but he's not interested in listening. This girlfriend of his is very lazy and expects everything from everyone, and if you don't do it, you're legit the worst person in the world. So, she wanted to create her own company selling decorative bottles. She had asked for people to donate her empty bottles, wine bottles, old coke bottles, etc. for a project she was doing. Didn't tell the people that she was selling these bottles for 25 plus or she was going to make a profit. Anyways, so she creates the page and doesn't even bother putting in an effort with the photos, just posts blurry photos on Instagram and Facebook. She asked me to promote her page on all my social medias because she didn't want to post it on her own, too much effort, so I did. I have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to photography and promotion and was trying to guide her for what she could do to make her photos look better. She also asked me for advice on what products she could make, which I happily gave to her with inspirational pictures, etc. I never once said I was going to help her create things with her. She asked me for help with taking some photos, some meaning like one or two bottles mind you, which I was happy to do. But instead of taking one photo, she ended up giving me around 6 plus bottles to photograph for her and didn't think of asking me if it was okay okay for me to take photos of multiple bottles. She gave them to me in front of my friends so I didn't want to act like a dink and refuse them so I told her just for this occasion I would photograph all the bottles. She also expected me to do any of the ideas I told her about because they were either too hard to do or she couldn't be bothered and that's what I was there for. She didn't even ask if I wanted to help with making her products, just expected me to and got upset when I didn't. So, I take the photos and send them through to her, and I tell her she needs to take photos like this, and I'm happy to guide her, but I wouldn't be taking any more photos for her because I have my own things I need to do. Plus, it's her company. She gets a bit uptight with me and said she expects me to be the photographer for her because I took photos of the six bottles and that the bottles were payment enough for taking any photos of her bottles. I told her that if she wanted me to edit and do that stuff again, we need to look up a payment plan for any of it and within hours she stopped selling the bottles because they were too time consuming and no one wanted to buy them. Plus, I didn't want to help her so there was no point of doing it anymore. She hadn't promoted her page, told anyone about them apart from me and her boyfriend, and expected everyone to buy them off her. <laughs> um, Karen? If you're gonna get someone to do a boatload of work for you, you might want to pay them. But please help me, I'm just getting started. Why won't anyone buy them off me? Yikes. Buy my used laptop for twice what I paid for it. Okay, so I had a friend Lewis who was going through a tough time, the exact circumstances of which are less tragic than you'd at first conclude, but that's beyond the point of this post. One day, Lewis texts me asking if I'd like to buy his laptop as he has no use for it anymore. Now, two years previous, I'd taken him to Walmart to buy a laptop and found a really decent Asus listed for $220 with $60 bucks off sticker clearance tag, so I recommended he buy it and he did. Bearing this in mind, I said sure. He said great. I'm thinking like three or four, so come by with the cash and we'll talk about it. Taken back, I hope you don't mean three or four hundred dollars. That laptop was 220 before the discount. It's also two years older now and in the apartment of someone who smokes. 
It wouldn't be worth 50 bucks, but I know you're in a tight spot, so I'd offer you 100 for it, as I only want the video card to cannibalize and put in my old laptop. Guess who isn't friends with Lewis anymore? Okay, come on, Chief. Yeah, so I bought the laptop for like 220 oh, plus I got a discount on it, but I'll sell it to you for like $400. How's that sound? Yeah, nice try, Chief. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button as it would really help me out. Subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.